yesterday, Auditor Yost released um, reports for cities all throughout the state of Ohio um, using financial ratios to assess these entities and their financial health. Um, we did receive our report. We, 15 out of the 17 indicators sh identified showed that we were had a positive outlook for our finances. Um, there were two indicators that were given, one cautionary and one critical. Um, I did investigate those for um, council's information. We did receive the critical outlook point was for a ratio that measures your spending and if you are spending more money than you take in in a given year. So in 2014 and 15, the city intentionally spent more and that does occur on occasion, but based on their way they're analyzing the financial indicators, if you drop below that, they are going to flag that as critical. So just like with anything, you know, you have to know what's going on behind the numbers sometimes. The ratio <coughs> might not look that great, but there might be reasons why that drops below. And then again, in 2016, we don't, we, we would not be in that situation based on how we ended the fiscal year. So um, that is the reason for receiving that um, critical outlook. The cautionary has to do with our fixed assets and the age of our fixed assets, they analyze the percentage of your fixed assets that have been depreciated over time. And so they looked at that and said, we have the value of our assets are highly depreciated, which means they're aged assets. With most of those being in the highest valued assets, we have our infrastructure. So. That, that doesn't come as a surprise to me, and in fact, um, if you saw Auditor Yost's press conference or any news coverage on it, he did indicate that's a normal kind of indicator problem for many, the majority actually, of the cities that they um, dealt with. We are aware of our, you know, the age of our assets, um, and, you know, we have infrastructure funds where we set money aside and financial policies to make sure we have the you know things in place to deal with that and we do try to maintain our assets so that they last longer but for financial reporting purposes when you get an asset you pick how long you think it's going to last and quite frankly you're lucky if it <laughs> lasts longer <laughs> sometimes but we are aware of you know the age of our infrastructure and that those should be coming but based on the financial health that we have here i think we'll be in a good position to fix, you know, our infrastructure and the assets that we have. Well, I really um, appreciate and applaud um, Auditor Yost for his attempt. I don't believe that he provided enough context. And, um, you know, we then actually turned around and called the ratings agencies, Moody's, S&P, and Fitch, um, shared the report with them and said, you know, what do you think, if any, impact that this would have on the ratings and municipalities throughout the state of Ohio who do carry public debt ratings? Um, and they pretty much summarily dismissed it and said that it would have no impact. Um, but yeah, a lot of this, a lot of municipal entities did not score particularly well, and I think you have to take the picture as a whole. While you intentionally spend money, as you indicate, you know, to exceed your, your revenues in a given year, that here in Talmadge has historically been a planned event. Unfortunately, in a lot of communities throughout the uh, state of Ohio, that is an unplanned event. Um, and so, again, I, I applaud um, you know, what we've done here in Talmadge historically and what they're doing you know, now um, under your administration. And I, I think, um, you know, kudos all around for getting 15 out of 17. Many of the larger municipalities did not do nearly as well. 